Today we're going to be making homemade meatballs. They're super easy, super delicious, and you can have them with anything you want. We're going to be starting off with three pounds of ground beef. We're going to want to punch that down. And then you're going to want to get a piece of sourdough bread. We're using homemade sourdough bread. Put it in little pieces and stick it in some water until it gets really soggy. Sounds disgusting, I know, but just hear me out. you got to do it because it helps keep the meat together when you roll it into little balls. Then you're going to want to add about three tablespoons of garlic powder. I'm adding that here over the top. Then you're going to want to add about an egg per pound. I'm only doing two eggs even though I had three pounds. And then about a cup of parsley chopped super fine. Add that in there. It helps with the flavor, I swear. Then you're going to want to drain that bread. Make sure it's not sop and wet. And then you're going to add those bread pieces into the meat. Then you're going to want to add three cups of Parmesan cheese to the top. You could use Pecorino if you like, but we just use Parmesan because that's what we had on hand. Then you're going to want to just mix this all up with your hands. Yeah, then mix it up as much as you can until it's combined and mixed real well. Then once you're satisfied with how mixed it is, you're going to want to make one inch balls like this. You can make them even smaller too and they're still good. We're gonna freeze these, so we're making a bunch of them. This recipe makes about 60 of them, and we had about three pounds of beef. Once you're done with that, you're gonna to wanna to heat up your stove top, put some olive oil in a pan, and heat it at about medium high. You can fit about 17 to 18 meatballs in there, but you just wanna make sure they're not crammed in there and overcrowded. You just wanna make sure that they are evenly spaced. Cover them and let them turn brown. Then you're gonna to wanna to flip them and get a nice caramelized glaze on there. Some of the oil was coming out of the Parmesan cheese and it made a caramelized crisp and it was so good on them. Make sure the internal temperature is 165 degrees so you don't die. But yeah, we were gonna make some spaghetti so I boiled some noodles to go with it. After the first batch, all the other meatballs were getting this beautiful caramelized brown glaze on them. It was so good. Here I am heating up some sauce so we can have some spaghetti meatballs. Here's the finished product, made about 60 meatballs. They're super good, I highly recommend this recipe. And what you don't eat, you can literally freeze and reheat. It's so easy. Topping it off with some pecorino cheese. Oh yeah. 